I'm sorry, guys. I'm tired. I'm just going to wait a few seconds to see if um, any more folks join in. Um, if you're sitting in on the live stream, if somebody, anybody could give me a thumbs up uh, just to let me know if y'all can hear me okay. Thumbs down if you cannot hear me okay. Thumbs up. Yeah, you can hear me. Thumbs down. No, you cannot. All right. Somebody, anybody. Okay. Because I'd hate to be sitting here talking and y'all are not hearing me. So I got eight people up in here now. Somebody give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, please, to let me know whether or not you can hear me. Ooh, y'all so shy. It ain't going to cost y'all nothing <laughs> to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'm just going to assume that you all can hear me since everybody is shy up in here. Nobody wants to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So I'm just going to assume that y'all can hear me. Anyways, good evening. Good evening, you all. Um these live streams are for you, okay? And I would love for my live streams to be interactive, right? Because they are for you. Um, and a lot of questions that one person has, I can guarantee you about two or three other people may have the same question and may just be, too shy or too timid to ask. So please, during these live streams, if you have any questions, um, you know, go ahead and, and type them into the chat box. Um, or even if you have any comments, okay, just type them in to the chat box. I wanted to jump on here real quick. I'm not going to stay on here too long, but I wanted to jump on um, to talk about um, a book that I, I, I just read, uh, The Four Agreements. Um, if y'all have not read that book, y'all need to purchase it, okay? Um, you can purchase it on Amazon. Um, and the reason why I wanted to talk to you all about this is because uh, The Four Agreements actually uh, correlate or, or is connected with um, how you may perform during your skills exam, okay? Or even how you may perform during your written exam. And I wanted to talk to you all um, about the first agreement, which is be impeccable with your word, okay? And I'm gonna write that here. Um, Okay. The first agreement, be impeccable with your word. Now, I know a lot of y'all, and I tell y'all this whenever I do live streams, um, whenever I respond to questions, um, I tell y'all to stay positive, right? <clears throat> Keep a positive vibe going into testing because you create your word or words, okay? You create them. And those words that you create, you bring into existence, right? You bring into existence. So if you're creating words of positivity, okay, you're creating words of positivity, um, you know, whether it's, um, you know, I, I, I know I'll do well or I'll do my best, right? That is what you are going to breathe into existence during your test, okay? If you create words that are um, similar to, um, you know, I'm, I know I'm going to mess up or if I get this skill, um, you know, I'm, I know I'm not going to remember uh, certain steps or, 
I'm not going to uh, remember what supplies to get or what have you. You are going to breathe those words into existence. And so a lot of times people uh, will ask me, you know, why do you, why are you always saying just, you know, stay positive, stay positive. It's more to do, it's more to, uh, it's more than just being positive that is going to get you uh, through your testing successfully, which is true, right? It's true is your, your competence and your knowledge as well. But if you create words that will actually um, help you, right, um, to get into that positive atmosphere, being positive will actually help you to pass your state certification exam. Okay. And I say this all the time. I, I tell you um, when I was instructing, I always told my students to stay positive and do the best that you can do. Right. Stay positive and do the best that you can do. Um, this book, the, the Four Agreements, and there's also a second book, which is entitled The Fifth Agreement. Um, I've read both of them actually on audible. Um, and it is, I mean, I learned so much about myself as a person. This book um, will really get you to start thinking, but you can apply these agreements to all aspects of your life. Okay. Um, and part of your life is training. Part of your life is taking the exam. Right. So um, get the book. Uh, you can purchase it on Amazon. Um, like I said, I have the Audible app. And so, um, you know, I do better or I have, um, you know, I really don't have like a lot of time to like sit and just read. Um, so I, I got the Audible app and I listened uh, to it. Right. Um, but it's a really good book. It is deep. When I say deep, I mean deep, 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 deep. It really gets you to thinking um, about yourself um, and what you, um, you know, how you live your life, right? So I highly encourage um, everyone. I wish everyone in the entire world would read this book. Um, I think that it would, you would see a lot of changes in the world if everyone picked up this book and not only read it, but actually um, practiced, right? Um, what the book is talking about. So with that out of the way, okay, um, I am um, doing online coaching sessions for any of you that are, is needing coaching um, to get you prepared for your certification exam. So whether you're still in training, um, whether you have already graduated your training and you're waiting to test and maybe you just need some remedial, um, remedial help, um, I am here, okay? All you have to do is email me. Um, I'm going to put my email in the chat section. Uh-oh. Okay. Nursejar1323 at gmail.com. Um, all you have to do is email me. Um, now the price that I'm charging is $25 an hour. Okay. Which is extremely good. Okay. Very good price. Um, and you know, if you just need remedial training, I am here for that. I'm starting that back up. Um, I'm available on Mondays, Tuesday. No, no, no. Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays. Okay. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Um, so if you need remedial training, email me and we can set you up, uh, get you scheduled for the online um, coaching. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go through... Um, some of the questions, since nobody, I, I guess nobody has any questions. I'm going to go through some of the questions 
um, that are here. Just a couple because I'm not I'm tired, guys. I'm not going to stay on long. Um, but just to respond to some of the questions that people dropped um, on my YouTube channel, uh, Caroline is asking about denture care and mouth care. Um, she's asking if it's done on a live person, and the answer is yes. Okay, denture care and mouth care is done on a live person. Um, are these two separate skills? Yes, they are. Okay, so you have mouth care where you're just brushing the person's teeth, and this is for credentia and Pearson view. Okay, and then denture care, you're only cleaning the dentures. Okay, for Pearson view and credentia. Now for Prometric mouth care, you're only cleaning the teeth. Okay, and don't forget the tongue, right? Tell the person to stick out their tongue and brush their tongue. But with denture care, you're uh, with if you're with Prometric, um, you're going to perform mouth care and denture care. Okay, so it's like a two part skill for Prometric. Okay, again, for Pearson View and Credentia, when it says mouth care, you're cleaning the teeth only. When it says denture care, you're cleaning the dentures only. With Prometric, mouth care, mouth only, okay, the teeth. Denture care, you're going to clean the person's teeth and clean the dentures. Okay, so that's the difference between um, those administrators. All right. Um, Ms. Frogger. Hmm. So this is in, this is regarding urinary output for Prometric. Okay. Uh, for Prometric, <coughs> excuse me, guys. <coughs> I'm sorry. For Prometric, um, with urinary output, the candidate has to empty the urinary drainage bag and measure uh, the urinary output, okay? For Credentia and Pearson View, all you have to do is the measurement, okay? Um, so Ms. Frogger says, I've seen people say they failed this skill because the tube wasn't cleaned with alcohol wipe after draining it. So do we or do we not clean it with alcohol, with the alcohol swab? And the answer is no. Okay. Um, Pearson View and Credentia never required that. Um, I think at one time Prometric did, but with their updates, you no longer need to use an alcohol swab to clean the catheter. So if that person failed, uh, empties urinary drainage bag and measures urinary output, they did not fail because of that, okay? So the answer, Ms. Frogger, is no. You do not need to clean. Um, oh, guys, there's gnats. You do not need to clean. Where did that sucker go? You do not need to clean the catheter with the alcohol swab, okay? Um, Ravioli 1383 comments. Thanks a lot, Nurse Jar, for all your videos. It's really, really very helpful for all the students. I passed my test on the first try. Way to go. Congratulations, Ravioli. Um, you are doing an amazing job, Nurse Jar. Love you and God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ravioli. Awesome. Um, congratulations again. Um, Kelvin. Kelvin says, thank you for the video. Um, he's preparing for his exam. Uh, good luck to you, Kelvin, and you are most welcome. I'm trying to respond to these on here as well. Um, Bahomi asked, can we change the water while rinsing? And this is with partial bed bath uh, under Prometric. Um, the only time you need to change out the water uh, when you're actually rinsing is if that water gets too soapy, okay? Like there's a lot of bubbles building up in the water. 
That's the only time you have to um, change out the water. That's for any of your water skills that you're using soap with, including foot care, uh, hand and nail care, uh, catheter care, right? Um, but for most of the, the majority of the times, your water isn't going to get uh, too soapy to where you have to go and empty out the basin, rinse the basin out and get fresh water. Okay. So hopefully I answered your question there. Um, and I wouldn't change it if you don't need to change it. Don't right. Um, because that's eating into your time. So the only time again that you'll, with any water scale that you'll have to change out the water is if the water gets too soapy, okay? Um, I love this woman comments, love what nurses do. I started taking courses long ago, but did not complete. But watching the video after cleansing, hmm. The catheter we use to, there's a lot of typos in here. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that they're saying they used to change gloves um, after cleaning the catheter before um, pulling up the sheets and to wash the tub and touch the handle of the storage cabinet in the perimeter of the basin, I would have changed gloves before touching those areas, just saying. Okay, well, in real life, real life, yes, you would remove your gloves, wash your hands, right? But this is not real life. This is testing, okay? So again, um, everything is abbreviated or condensed, right, during testing because the candidate is being timed. So you're not going to perform uh, these testable skills in the same manner as you would actually perform a nursing task in real life, okay, because of that. So all of the changing out of gloves, uh, you don't have to do, okay, during testing. It's not required. OK, um, Mimi, let's see. Mimi writes, thank God. Thank you so much, Nurse Jar. Passed my skill state exam. Congratulations to you, Mimi. Um, oh, y'all, these names. I can't pronounce these names. Fama Tava. Famata Varney writes, my school told us eight washcloths. I'm in Iowa. This is for under Prometric Partial Bed Bath. If your, skill, if your school told you eight washcloths, then use eight washcloths, okay? They tell you eight washcloths, use eight washcloths. Whatever your instructor tells you to do, do it, okay? I'm not going to step on any instructors or any other school's toes. Okay. Um, so that is that. Um, BCAP 5162. I will be taking my skills exam and I'm so nervous. It is normal to be nervous, but just don't be overly nervous. Um, I watched and rewatched all your videos, but I'm sure I, I will forget half of them. Now, remember what I just told y'all right? At the beginning of this live stream, okay? Be impeccable with your word. I'm going to repeat that. Be impeccable with your word. Remember, you create your words and those words that you create, you breathe them into existence, right? So BCAB 5162, those words that you just created, if you continue to say them, Right. If you continue to say that you are going to forget half of them, okay, that's what's going to happen during testing. So don't say that. I don't want to hear that, guys. I don't want to hear that. Okay. All you need to do is your best. Do your very best. Okay. But this is a good example of what I'm 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 talking about, right? When 
you're telling yourself, oh, I know I'm going to forget this, or I know I'm not going to be able to complete my skills test in time, you know, with the amount of time that they allot me to complete it in. You're saying that you're going to breathe existence into that. And that's what exactly is going to happen during your skills exam. Okay. So be positive, be positive, no negativity. Okay. Be positive because this is your future. All right. This is your future. And I do wish you, I do wish you much luck, BCAP 5162, but you got to put that negativity um, on a jet plane and send it off on vacation, send it somewhere, right? And be positive, okay? Instead of saying that you know you'll forget half um, of the skills or half of the steps, just say, you know what? I'm going to do the best that I can do. Whatever I can remember, that's what I'm going to do, right? Change those negative statements to positive ones, okay? Um, let's see, Nemo, she0423 is asking, hey, do you offer online classes? And I do, but they are not formal training. So the classes that I offer are coaching. I put my email um, in the chat box if you're interested in online coaching. Uh, just email me. Again, I charge $25. They're one hour sessions, okay? And you can sign up for as many sessions as you like, okay? Um, I don't know what this one is. Okay, so Pearson View and Credentia transfer from bed to wheelchair. Cynthia is asking why you don't need gloves. It's not required, okay? During testing, it's not required uh, to wear gloves. Even in, in real life, you know, when you're transferring someone from a bed to a wheelchair or a wheelchair to a bed, you usually uh, are not going to wear gloves unless that person um, is on some type of isolation precautions, okay? Um, so, but for testing... Uh, you're not going to be wearing gloves because that skill does not require the use of gloves. All right. Uh, Francis, Francis G5521 commented, um, they're taking the test. Wait, taking this test, there is no barrier on the table. Is that a red flag? Um. So this is with Prometric, and I'm looking at the I'm looking at the screenshot now. There is a barrier on the table, okay? So I don't know what Francis is um, referring to. Uh, plus the chuck on top of lap, not under. Is that passing the test? I'm not understanding the question. This was a prometric testing. This girl didn't do what you show she passed. How was that? I don't know. I wasn't there, so I can't. I don't know. Okay. Um, and so that's another thing, too. Um, you can't compare what someone else's does, what, what someone else's what someone else does and what their results are with what you do and what your results are, because the skills are evaluated and scored um, by weight. Okay. Um, so don't start trying to compare what you did and what another person did. And well, you know, I failed, uh, but they did this and they passed. Right. Uh, because so much goes into the, you know, the, the not just the evaluation, but also the scoring of your um, skills. And no one, not even the uh, proctor or the nurse aid evaluator knows 
how the authorized administrator actually does the scoring. They don't even know, right? Um, <clears throat> so I'm not really understanding, uh, Francis, uh, your, your comment. I, I'm, I'm not understanding. If you wanna elaborate, write another uh, comment. Um, Francis, again, is asking, uh, this is 2023, I just took this test, girl went first, she didn't put a towel or chuck on the table, chuck was on top of the manic, okay, so what, what Francis is saying is, I guess a person that she tested with, She's saying that they did not put a clean barrier on the overbed table. They placed the Chuck's pad on top of the mannequin's lap while she was cleaning the catheter tubing. But you're showing now, and she passed, how is that? I did the dentures and forgot to put water in the container and I failed. Those are two different skills. And again, you know, you really can't compare what someone else does or how they perform to how you perform and what your results were and what their results were. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Tomoko commented, um, thank you very much, Miss Jar. I just passed the CNA exam from Hawaii. I couldn't pass without you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Awesome. Congratulations to you, Tomoko. All right. Um, my niece Destin7999 says that they passed their exam. Congratulations. Mm. Okay, so um, Latanya Hills7467 is asking for the Pearson View playlist. Um, it's here on YouTube. All you have to do is go to the playlist. Um, I have Pearson View and Credentia uh, together <coughs> because they are like really, you know, the same in one. Um, I, so I have a separate playlist for all of the authorized administrators. Um, it is your responsibility to know uh, who your authorized administrator is for your state. So all you have to do if you're testing under Prometric, go to the Prometric playlist. If you're testing under Pearson View or Credentia, go to that playlist. Um, one more comment is uh, from Israel Manza. Um, he or she states, I want to publicly, I, I can't talk guys. I want to publicly thank you because Thanks to your videos, I was able to pass my exam on the first try. Awesome. Directed all the people who are preparing to look no further and only prepare with my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for making these videos master. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, you're the best. Greetings from Colorado. Awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so much. That's the first time I was called the master. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm just so glad that I'm able to help so many uh, people around the world globally, you know, uh, breathe life into their dreams. So that is awesome. Um, let's see. Wow, this goes out to all of us guys. Um, Sharon Matheka, um, she commented, hey, I'm not a student. I just stumbled on here and absolutely love the work nurses do. I didn't realize how many steps y'all have to think about. What it translates to is high quality care. God bless you. 
That is awesome, right? People who are not students or nurses are recognizing the hard work that we do, right? Um, and the high quality care that we give uh, to our, our patients, clients, and residents. Um, Okay. All right, guys, I think that's enough of the comments there. All right. So does anybody have any questions? I, I said at the beginning that I'm not going to be on here uh, too long. I'm really tired, feeling a little under the weather. Um, if there is no questions, oh, wait, there is one. Sweet Pea, hi. Wow. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, sweet pea. She watched my videos. And you know what? I remember your name, sweet pea. I remember that name. Um, three years ago. Has it been that long? Oh my gosh. Congratulations to you, sweet pea. Just graduated with her ADN. Awesome. Wow. Congratulations. You are a nurse. Yes. Awesome. Wow. Three years. I can't believe that it's been that long, but I do remember you. I remember your name uh, popping out or popping up in the comment sections. You are most welcome. I'm going to be starting some nursing videos too here in the near future. I just have to see where I can, um, you know, squeeze it in, but yeah. I'm going to start doing some nursing videos. Okay, guys. So just a recap of what I talked about in this live stream. Okay. The four agreements, book, purchase it, please read it. And not only read it, but, um, you know, action, right? Follow, follow. Okay. Do something, right? Okay. Um, it's a really, really great book. It is Deep, 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 deep. It will get you to start thinking. So if you have not read it, please read it. Okay. Read it. Purchase it. You go on Amazon uh, or you can even buy it audio. Okay. Um, but it's, it's a good book to read. The Four Agreements. Um, there's actually a second book uh, with the fifth agreement. Okay. And I just finished uh, reading that one as well. Uh, but it really gets you to thinking about your life, about how you live, you know, your beliefs, your morals. Um, I, everybody should read that book. Really, everybody should, okay? Um, oh, thank you, Catherine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night, Jen. Wow. That is awesome. Thank you, Jen. Thank you so much. Uh, Catherine, it's the four agreements. I'm going to put the title in here. Um, there we go. The four agreements. You can purchase it on Amazon. It's a really good book. Um, the author is, oh my gosh. I can't remember his first name, but his last name is Ruiz, R-U-I-Z. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Thank you, Jen. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Catherine. Yeah, um, was, man, the book is good, okay? And then you'll also want to get his second book, which is called The Fifth Agreement. So you have the four agreements, uh, the first agreement, is what I was talking about um, at the beginning of this live stream. Be impeccable with your words, uh, meaning you create your words. And those words that you create, you breathe into existence. So if you're creating negative words, 
That's what your existence is going to be. If you're creating positive words, that is what your um, existence is going to be. So you actually create your existence or how you exist in the world just by the words you spit out of your mouth, right? Okay. Um, so that is the first agreement. The second agreement is don't take anything personal. Okay. Don't th take anything personal. The third agreement. Oh, what was the third agreement? Mm, I forgot the third agreement. The fourth agreement, always do the best. Always do your best, right? That's all you can do, even in testing. Just do your best, okay? And then the fifth agreement, and this is the second book, the fifth agreement is um, be skeptical. What is it, wait? Always be skeptical, but always listen, right? Be skeptical, skeptical, I'm sorry, I can't talk, but always listen. Meaning people can tell you things, right? Whether you believe it or not, but you should always listen, right? Okay, really good book. I'm telling you, you are going to learn. I learned so much about myself. And I was only in the second chapter. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I do that. Oh my gosh, I got to change, right? But you learn so much about yourself in this book. And I'm not a, a promoter of this book or anything like that. I'm not getting, uh, this isn't a paid promotion. I'm not getting paid to promote <coughs> this author, <coughs> excuse me, this author's book. It's just a hellified book, okay? It is an awesome book. Um, and like I said, man, everybody in this world, in this entire world, uh, needs to read it. Really, everybody needs to read it. Um, so I talked about that, talked about my online coaching. Again, if you need some remedial training, online coaching, email me. My email is in the chat. Um, section of this live stream. It is nursejar1323 at gmail.com. Um, and we can go ahead and get you scheduled. What I like to do um, before we actually get into the hour session is just do a quick meet and greet, right? So I can get a good idea of, um, you know, what your needs are, um, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are in that way. Um, that'll help me to coordinate how I'm going to uh, coach you. Okay. Again, it's $25 per one hour session. I usually charge $55. Okay. I usually charge $55 an hour, um, but I'm only charging 25. Okay. Um, Oh, uh, thank you, sweet pea. Yes, I will. There is so much that I have to do. I'm still in the midst of um, authoring my fourth book. This fourth book is for instructors. Um, still trying to get like a online um, coaching where it's not with me live, but you know, it's a platform. So I'm still working on that. Um, and then, yeah, I, I need to. Um, want to get started on some nursing videos as well. Um, but thank you so much, Sweet Pea. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> let me see. What else? What else? What else? If there's anything that y'all would like to see as well, now keep in mind, keep in mind, um, you know, I no longer have um, access to, you know, my classroom or mannequins or anything like that. But if there are certain um, 
things or aspects in training that you would like for me to talk about, make a video of, uh, leave that in the comment section. My channel is not for me. My channel is for you. Okay. My channel is for you. So you tell me what you like. You tell me what you need. Okay. And if I am able to do it, I will, but I need to hear from you all. Okay. Uh, what type of videos do you want, uh, want to see? Okay. Uh, what do you want me to talk about in live streams? Right. So y'all tell me, you can email me or you can leave comments. Um, it would probably be best if y'all email me because a lot of the comments, like I'm just seeing comments where uh, people wrote like five days ago or a month ago. So a lot of times I don't get notified for every comment that is dropped on my channel. Okay. So a lot of comments I miss. And I hopefully y'all aren't thinking that I'm ignoring you because I'm not. It's just that I'm not getting notified about these comments, okay? So if you have any ideas or anything that you want me to talk about during my live streams or, um, you know, whatever videos um, or you want me to do, um, if you have any ideas, any suggestions, uh, again, <clears throat> email me. Okay. And let me know. I got to get ready to go guys. I'm about to hop in this big old bed. Uh, I'm going to take some cold medicine and hopefully fall asleep. Cause I'm not feeling well. Can't y'all see I'm not feeling well. Okay. <coughs> All right. So if y'all don't have any other questions, I'm going to jump off of this live stream. Um, and I will talk to you all later, okay? I love you all. Thank you so much for being awesome, awesome, awesome subscribers. I love y'all so much. Keep referring my channel. Oh, yeah, please keep referring my channel. I am at... I am at 44,000 subscribers. I have got to get to 50,000 to become a moderate tier um, influencer on YouTube, okay? So I need like 6,000 more. <laughs> I need 6,000 more people, guys, right? So refer my channel, refer my channel. If it's helping you, my videos are helping you, trust me. They will help your classmates. They will help your peers. They will help your friends, your family. So refer my channel, 6,000, okay? That is my goal, 50,000. I need 6,000 more subscribers, guys, okay? All right? Okay, since y'all don't have no more questions, I'm gonna let y'all go, okay? Y'all get some rest, stay strong, all right? Thank y'all so much. Love y'all. Ciao.